there are many ways to draw uh, to memorize the cervical plexus I find uh, this quite easy and useful first of all we have the four initial um, loops from the uh, five first uh, cervical vertebrae then uh, we just uh, continue the drawings this way okay Okay, and now we can uh, already start uh, nominating. These uh, we, we just draw the anterior part of the plexus. Um, okay, so these uh, will be our hypoglossal nerve. These will be our cervicalis. Then we can uh, uh, just uh, label this. Uh, uh, this is for the genio and thyroid. This is for the infrahyoid muscles. Then we have two branches here. One we can cross one, and this is uh, the communication for the vagus nerve that is the tenth. So it's uh, quite easy crossing it and this one is for RLC for um, two recti of the um, prevertebral muscles and uh, uh, the longus uh, um, captis and this is phrenic nerve so this is all for the anterior part then we have the posterior sensory branches and um, so easy we can draw one here and this is uh, uh, one here, two here, and one here. Okay, we have uh, LOGA, L-O-G-A, to start. It's lesser occipital and uh, greater auricular. And then we have the transverse cervical, cervical um, nerves. And then we have the um, supraclavicular nerves. Okay, we can just complete it. Okay. From this is missing the communication with the um, spinal accessory nerve, uh, cranial nerve 11. Uh, we can just uh, cycle these three intermediate. Um, roots uh, uh, and this is uh, uh, these are the roots that have uh, communication with the uh, spinal accessory nerve for nociception and the pain from the uh, two muscles innervated.